guess I just saw so many binder clips and I walked by them for enough weeks, enough months, and it just started to bother me that uh, we were simply recycling these binder clips when they could be used uh, easily another time, if not another five or six times. And um, I just felt that I should do something about it because it was within my power to do so. I, I know we've sent out over 10,000. So we're probably up now, if I were just to give a, an estimate, um, we've probably sent out, we're probably approaching 14,000, 13,000, something like that. Uh, particularly the smaller ones, they pile up pretty quickly in terms of numbers. And the pads, um, I call it sequester pads. Uh, the way I make them is I take either uh, legal size paper or letter size and generally I quarter it with a paper cutter. And then I carry home the cut paper and on the weekends I take an electric drill, drill uh, two holes in it. And um, then I run either one zip tie through or, some, or two zip tie uh, ties through the holes. So it's less of an expenditure of energy to reuse things instead of digging up uh, virgin natural resources and then manufacturing these products. If we collectively can, in a way, improve our way of working and start collectively looking around this and say, what can I do to make this a more efficient workplace? We can start to address small problems and when we get finished with the small problems, we can work up to medium problems, and we can work up to larger problems. As we get our act together and we work more efficiently, we might even be able to apply a little pressure on our sister and brother uh, federal civil servants who are of the elected type, and we might be able to exert some pressure on them to clean up their working environment and the way they work in the same way they applied it on us.